It's the second largest country in Africa with a population of more than 80 million people. This is the Democratic Republic of the Congo. At the recent UAE and DRC Business Forum in Dubai, ministers highlighted the economic benefits of expanding their trade and development opportunities. It's often said the Democratic Republic of Congo is a land of opportunity. One can invest in agriculture, fishing, livestock farming, industry, road, port and airport infrastructure and mining. The country has immense potential, but it's not yet been transformed and has not been sufficiently explored and exploited. This is why the model of the Emirates, which is a pretty useful model, is inspiring the Democratic Republic of Congo. While the country is best known for its mining industry, agriculture and digital infrastructure was high on the agenda. The DRC imports most of its basic products, and although it has 80 million hectares of land, only 10% is currently exploited. The DRC is diversifying its investments. We have the mines, of course, but the most important thing is the agro-industry. We have the energy. We already have some infrastructure and others that are being set up, but also new information technologies, digital. And we have tourism and, of course, education and health. These different sectors are going to develop the growth of our country. Over at Dubai Expo 2020, the celebrations for the DRC's National Day brought out the big crowds, as Congolese President Felix Tshisekedi highlighted the country's success at international relations. We wanted to bring the Democratic Republic of the Congo with all its assets to Dubai because we know that this is a hub for meetings and that it's possible to present the Democratic Republic of the Congo like a mirror, providing solutions and assets to help the world overcome the challenges that it faces. A peaceful country, and we are we like we welcome people. We have um, creativity, hospitality, um, and hope. And it's a young, it's a young nation. Powerful. We have many minerals, and it's very huge in Africa and in the world. Yes. It's very huge. Congo is very huge. The DRC Pavilion at Expo gives visitors an opportunity to learn more about the country, which is home to the world's second largest rainforest and remains one of the first reservoirs of biodiversity with over 15,000 unique species. What the world is working on actually is to protect the climate. As you said before, we have like the biggest or the, the biggest or the second biggest forest in the world. We can protect all the humanity. The second thing is that we have all the raw materials the world needs to face the clean energy challenge. As well as its trade and industry, it's also steeped in culture and heritage. The birthplace of rumba has also given us musicians like rap superstar Gims, who brings a modern twist to the Congolese sound. <laughs> Sometimes he makes like urban music from France where he grew up and from Congo where his father grew up where he find his origin and actually he's one of our, our cultural ambassadors and it was very good to have him to show to the world that Congolese musicians can make Arab people and Western people dance. With over 790,000 visitors and 264,000 tourists, the Democratic Republic of the Congo is looking forwards to a promising future and welcoming the world to invest in and learn more about the heart of Africa.